how good are these run flats or at least do they serve the purpose that they're supposed to be made for well right now i am running with 17 pounds per square inch of pressure on my passenger front tire and this would otherwise not be possible if i didn't have run flat tires so if you can see right here on the screen it does have the indicator that it has 17 pounds per square inch and although that may not be exact there is no doubt that that tire is low and as I showed in the clip using a pressure meter that it is indeed a uh, an issue whenever you have whether it's a nail on the tire or something that you're losing pressure at least the run flat tire gives you a chance to drive the car even though it may have to be run somewhat slower this issue popped up yesterday and i was pretty far away from home about 37 miles away and went ahead and was safely driving it with this monitor on just showing the uh, current pressure which at the time it was 20 pounds per square inch halfway through my drive there was a gas station conveniently located for me to be able to put some gas and I figured might as well put some air on the tire so it will be in better shape and it will hold me up so it turns out that the flat or the nail or whatever is causing it to lose air is very subtle it doesn't lose air very quickly this is very low because it was on the driveway overnight and it went from 37 pounds per square inch down to 34 pounds per square inch last night down to 17 pounds per square inch as of this morning so it is not losing the air very quickly but nevertheless, uh, it's not terrible where you cannot drive the car at the same time. So that's what the run flat is intended to do. As a matter of fact, right now I'm heading over to a tire place to just have them patch up whatever hole they find. I think the only thing to keep in mind is if that damage to the tire is on the wall of the tire, then the tire is not fixable. I was looking at the outside wall of the tire and it looks okay i didn't crawl under the car to look at the inside wall of the tire but fingers crossed that it's just on the uh, thread of the tire and they can just patch it up so um back to you later to see the outcome of this well went to one tire place and they found that there was a bolt stuck onto the shoulder of the tire that's between the uh the foot of the tire and the wall of the tire and uh, it is not safe to patch the shoulder uh, went to another place to get a second opinion a long story short took it to the dealer where i get some pretty good pricing on the tire and they are dropped it off so they gave me this loaner which is a bmw 3 series and um, i already reviewed this car so there's no purpose in reviewing this car but it just goes to show at least the point that I was trying to make earlier about the run flat tires. Run flat tires are, they do serve a good purpose. If I did not have run flat tires on that 4 Series, I would have been pretty much stranded. Well, let me rephrase that. I would have been stranded if I didn't have a spare. And run flat tires, cars that have run flat tires, they don't give you a spare. They usually don't because as I was able to uh, experience firsthand I didn't have to get a spare that the way they built those run flat tires are to have the uh, a stronger walls on the tire and the, the walls are beefed up enough that even if there is no air so long as you don't drive fast you can drive your car home which is basically what I did I took it a step further and that I went to a station and 
put some extra air so I don't do I don't put a lot of stress onto the tire but if I did not have run flat tires and I had a spare it would have taken me much longer to get a jack under the car and replace that tire and then get on my way as opposed to I stopped real quick at, quick at a station and in 45 seconds I was out of there just putting a little bit of extra uh, air and even if it had lost all that air that afternoon it would have not left me stranded because of the nature of the tire so it does serve a purpose and it serves a good purpose the tires do cost more money a uh, case in point the tire of the 440i that i was driving is a pirelli p0 summer tires 225 are 19s and they were close to 300 dollars 288 dollars for that tire so if i were looking for that same tire uh, in a non-run flat configuration i'd probably be saving anywhere from $50 to $30 again depending on the tire uh, it, it's probably a bad comparison or so it's not an apples to apples comparison to say some other non run flat tire because it won't be the exact same tire but nevertheless it does serve a very good purpose so how much worth is it for your time how important it is for you to say I'm on the go I don't have time to stop and change the tire and get my hands dirty blah 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 etc if you are if you value your time and you will take back any little bit of time to just be on the road and not uh, deal with uh, the inconvenience of having to do that then you don't really need run flat tires you put a spare in the back and you're done call it a day uh, in the end a run flat tire is going to cost you more some people will say well i never gotten a, a flat tire i guess if you never gotten a flat tire and you're not likely to get one because of whatever the conditions where you drive or you don't drive that much then it's probably not worth the cost the reality is that run flat tires come usually in the car that you buy when um Usually most of the luxury sedans have run flat tires and it is uh, understood that it, it just comes that way. If you don't want it, um, unless there is a, um, a way to downgrade when you're specking a car, you get it the way that it comes. I think over time as you replace your tires or they wear out, you can, you can just not buy run flat tires. Or you can be more drastical and just take them all out, put new ones on there that are not run flat, and then sell them, assuming that they're still in pretty good shape. So either way, it's just a matter of how are you willing to pay extra for that convenience. Myself, personally, I'm pretty much on the fence. I have had cases where, yeah, I had an issue with it, and I really didn't like the expense of a replacement run flat in the case of what happened to me yesterday and then the case of having to take it to the dealer I did enjoy the fact it was late I was getting back I didn't want to stop anywhere to replace the tire um, get a jack under the car etc I was just tired I just wanted to get home the beauty of it is with the run flat, I was able to just get in my car and drive home just exactly the way it was. It's not for everyone, but at least it worked out really well for me. My name is George. This is JLLR Cars. And as always, drive safe.